Hello YouTube, welcome to uh, Ambrose Landscaping YouTube channel. Today we are talking about a uh, DIY uh, lawn striping kit that we just made not too long ago for a lawnmower. As you can see right here, this is the lawn striping kit. Uh, we kind of looked around online just to see um, what materials we can make it out of, what's the best. Uh, each person's different. We, you can either use the roller kind or you can use uh, this kind of like a mat kind, uh, which is what we did, which is a easier setup for us. Uh, because it takes less materials and it's a lot simpler. It took us probably about 30 minutes to put this together. As you can see right here, all it does is just drag along the back. And uh, surprisingly, all this is is a welcome mat for a, you can kind of see it says, well, not really, it says welcome. Anyways, uh, it's a welcome mat for a, uh, the front door of a house is what we use. All right, so we're going to talk about the materials that we use to uh, make this striping kit. As you can see, like, like I said, we have a front door, um, just a mat, a welcome mat that we used. Um, so when choosing the right mat, you want to make sure you have the right thickness. You don't want it too thick to where it's going to start tearing up the grass and where it won't fold back and forth. Because when you move back and forth, you want this to be flimsy enough to where it's going to go you know, back and forth and not get stuck and, and tear or anything like that. Uh, so you ought to make sure you don't want something that's too light, otherwise it won't bend the grass over and you won't get that striping look. So as you can see, we probably have probably about a half an inch right here is what we have. And uh, this one, luckily, it kind of folds right there. And so uh, where it actually hits the ground, so it works very well for us. So I would recommend looking for one that, that does do that. Uh, we did cut part of it off, so that's why uh, the mat was probably another like six inches added to that, but we cut that off. So that's just a welcome mat. <clears throat> What we used to attach it was we just use a piece of flat, like a stainless steel, or you can use a metal, um, just a square piece that you can find at the Home Depot. It's kind of hard to tell because we paint it black. So what we did is we just got a thin square piece uh, that goes all the way down, and then we got an actual square uh, box metal one, as you can see right here. <clears throat> and so all we did was we just sandwiched the two together in between the mat. And that's what we did to hold it. And then we use self-tapping screws. That way we don't have to pre-drill anything. So we just got, I think these are, um, these are one inch quarter screws, or not one inch quarter screws, one inch screws, self-tapping screws that we use to hold these two together and just go right through the box. You could use another flat piece on the other side, but then you gotta have a bolt to hold it. And then you got something poking out right here. Since we have the box, uh, the pointy, um, on the pointy side of the screw stays inside the box so nothing's hanging out which is nice so that's what we did and then all we did to hold it was just we just got a bolt a couple knots and we went through where <clears throat> you have the uh the hitch the hitch on the back of the lawnmower um i'd probably recommend we're probably gonna, i'll probably wind up doing this is where you can just drill two holes where it holds it more sturdy on the frame that way it doesn't swivel back and forth uh but if you put the bolt nice and tight um it won't really do too much where it's not going to mess up your striping kit. Um, luckily, this mat was just the perfect width of where my tires are. So my tires, so everything is getting striped. It's not missing anything. So you want to make sure you got the right width on that also. And then also what we did was uh, we have a bolt on the inside right here and then one on top. So we tighten it together uh, so it doesn't move as much. And all we did was we cut a little piece out right here of the mat uh, so that you have easy access to get to the bolt uh, for taking it off if you don't need it for a certain uh, for a certain yard so we went and spray painted it made it black <clears throat> of course that way it looks professional and clean because um, this does come in like a, a silver you know stainless steel kind of color so we just painted it black make it all look slick and clean so it matches the rest of the mower and uh, and that's how we that's how we did our striping kit so Hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions on any of the materials we got, we got everything at Home Depot. Probably cost about less than, uh, probably about $50 to do everything, depending on what mat you get and how much that is. But you can probably do this around $50 is what you're gonna, you're looking at. So, all right, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And uh, thank you for watching very much.